Today I will be showing you an easy way to apply multiple textures to the face of a 3D object. This is a technique that can be used to get a wainscot look to your walls and a more stylized appearance for your interiors. This technique can also be used to add a band course to the exterior of the house as well. Here I have just a simple model that I'm going to use to demonstrate this technique. I'm going to be using save views during this tip to speed the process up. Here we have a wireframe view of one of the interior rooms. We're going to start by going to the 3D Modeling tool set and selecting the Extract tool. Now in the toolbar, we want to have the Extract tool set to the fourth mode, which is the Extract Surface mode. This will allow us to extract the face from a 3D object. With this mode selected, we're going to place our cursor over the face of the desired wall we want to extract. The area will highlight in red to indicate which face you're selecting. With the face selected, go back to the toolbar and click on the green check mark to extract the 3D geometry. Please note that in the object info pod, a NURP surface shows selected. Now that I've extracted the NURB surface, I could use the 3D reshape tool to change the height of the NURBs, but for this example, I'm going to use the split tool in the basic tool palette and select the third mode, which is the line trim mode, so we can cut through the NURB surface. Click once to start the trim line and a second to end the trim line. And with a third click, use the arrow to define which side we want to keep. To just split the selection, hold down the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac or else it will split more than just a desired object. Now we want to add some depth to our extracted surface. To do this, we want to go back to the 3D Modeling toolset and select the Shell Solid tool. Now in the toolbar, let's click on the Preferences button. In this dialog box, let's set the thickness to about a quarter inch, and then click OK. Now we want to select the NURB surfaces. Click on one NURB surface, then hold the shift key and click on the second. Now go back to the toolbar and click on the green check mark or hit the enter key to complete the operation. Finally, we want to add our texture. Go to the Object Info Palette and click on the Render tab. Click on the drop-down and select the desired texture. Now go to the View Bar and click on the Render drop-down and select a Rendering Mode. Here we have our finished product. 